I want you to tell me what you would say to the government of Canada. My name is Tom Berger. I uh, was appointed by the federal government in uh, the 1970s to conduct the Mackenzie Valley Pipeline Inquiry. I spent two and a half years in the Mackenzie Valley in the Western Arctic. I visited all the towns and villages in the region, heard from about a thousand local people, Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal, throughout the region. So I was a judge in the Supreme Court of British Columbia, and uh, Jean Chrétien, who was then the Minister of Indian Affairs and Northern Development, called me and asked me if I would uh, undertake this inquiry. We thought it would take about six months, and of course it took two and a half years. And I realized that if there was to be a, an inquiry that provided a level playing field for everybody, we had to give everybody time to get ready. And it was apparent that uh, we had to provide money, funding for the uh, Dene and the Inuit and the Métis and for the environmental organizations. People in the villages had said to me, you have to come and see the country, you have to meet with us. What we want to say to you will be more meaningful if you see us where we live. Well, obviously, that's what we had to do. Uh, and uh, so I uh, visited uh, 35 towns and villages, every town and village in the Mackenzie Valley in the Western Valley. And each place I said to people, I'll stay here as long as you want me to stay here. And in some of those places I stayed three, four, I think in uh, Fort Good Hope I may have stayed five days. And um, I said, this is your future. You tell me what you want me to know about all this. People from the pipeline companies and the oil and gas industry sometimes came with me. They learned a great deal too. Because this was well covered by the media, it meant that Canadians learned something about the North, about its geography, about uh, its resources, about its environment, and especially about its people. It was a learning experience for Canadians. That's, of course, one of the jobs of a, an inquiry to uh, make sure that the country learns something about the issue. And, and that it's not just kept as uh, something for experts to decide, whether they're in industry, in the environmental organizations, or in the government, that these are decisions that all of us should be able to form a view about. I think the emphasis should be on consulting the people who are, so to speak, in the way they're entitled to be heard. I wrote a report that came out in 1977, basically recommending that there should never be a pipeline built across the northern Yukon, and recommending that no pipeline be built in the Mackenzie Valley until land claims had been settled with the Dene, the Nuvaluit, and the Métis. Democracy consists of more than <clears throat> just voting the government in or out every four years. Inquiries can be a critical part of uh, the democratic process. It allows people to uh, have a say about their future. If you consult local people, if you consult the people affected, you get better projects. That's a lesson in democracy. And that's why it is so important that we uh, provide for the fullest possible consultation in any major project. 